Okay, gang, today is going to be a short video. This video is going to be for people that own a CX-20 quadcopter, the one you see here. If you're experiencing an issue like I have, where one of your props, after the unit is powered up, continues to beep, and that prop, or this prop, or whichever one is beeping, does not power up, I'm going to show you exactly what you have to do in order to correct the problem. First, let me power it up and show you exactly what it does. All right, this one right here is continuing to beep. And all of these are fine. GPS, I'm not going to wait for, but I am going to turn on the unit and show you because this is beeping that all three will power up except for this one. Here we go. And as you saw, this one does not power up. Let me take apart the unit. I'm going to show you exactly what you have to do in order to fix this problem. You're going to have to remove the props. You're going to have to disassemble the entire top of the unit to pull this off to access the electronic speed control board, the ESC board. There are two green ones and two red ones installed on this unit. Let me open the unit and I'll come right back and show you. All right, the top has been removed. There's 17 screws holding this on. Over here is the electronic speed control board, ESC board, and this is a green one because there's a green LED light under it. Same goes for this one, and these are red. Now if you want, before purchasing one of these boards, it's always a good idea to have a spare red and a spare green board on hand. If you're looking for a great price on either one of these boards, I'll be placing a link in the video description area. What you can do before purchasing these boards is you could rule out the motor as being a problem. And it's very easy. You can desolder this red wire, the black, and the yellow. And you're going to take this motor and swap it with the one on the opposite side over there. So desolder red, black, yellow. Make sure the wires go back exactly the way you found them. Put that motor here, this one there, and you're gonna power it up. And if you have the exact same problem, that is going to indicate a faulty ESC board. Swapping out the board is very simple. You're going to desolder the three wires to the motor. There is a power wire right here, red one. A black is a negative, and the white goes to the LEDs. So you have those three, as well as a red, black, and white plugging into the board. You're going to desolder all these connections. Make sure you solder them back exactly as you found them on the new board. So take a picture using a digital camera, your smartphone, so you know exactly where the wires go and you don't confuse anything. Once it's all put back together, then you can try it and the problem should be gone. Let me swap this one out and I'll show you. Let me desolder the wires. Just remember where they go. Soldering my left hand, which I normally don't do. Good to go. Let's go over here. You see red, white goes to the LED, and 
Uh, that's perfect. That's for the LED. You see the minus on the board. And they're all off. This board only uses the black and white wire heading over to the control unit. The new one has a red. I'll just be disregarding the red wire. The board is slightly different, but it does do the same thing. Let me undo this connector here. Right between. Okay. Uh, let's trace the black. That's the last one over there. Goes to the very end. Goes right over here on the far right. So I can grab that and remove it. Black wire on top. Okay, let's go back here. Should be able to lift this whole thing right out. And the board is out. Alright, this is the older one. And this here is the new one I got. So that's the back of the new one. Different design. Let's pop it in and see how it runs. You can now see all the wires are soldered back to the board for the motor as well as the power supply and LED for the board. And the white wire and black wire plugs back into the unit. Let me put the cover back on, power it back up and see how it operates. Everything has been reassembled. Let me connect the power and let's see if the beeping is no longer there. If the beeping is gone, I'm going to turn on the transmitter and see if I get all four fans to come on together. And there you have it. No more beeping. So if you have this problem, it should be very easy to resolve by swapping out the ESC board. Let me power it up. Let's see if all four run. Success. Let me lock it. And it's powered off. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please rate it a thumbs up, subscribe, and post links to this video on other websites and blogs. Also be sure to check out my video playlist as well. Thank you very much for watching.